I, I believe if a person wants to be successful, you should have a high EQ. But if you don't want to lose quickly, you should have a high IQ. But if you want to be respected, you should have, have high LQ, the Q of love. So those three Qs put together, a lot of men, they have a high IQ but low EQ, a, a very tiny LQ. <laughs> Women balance-wise, they're the best. If you want your company to be successful, if you want your company to operate with wisdom, with care, women is the best. Learn from the mistakes, the other people. No matter how smart you are, you will encounter these mistakes. You learn from mistakes not because you will be able to avoid mistakes. You will be able to, when these mistakes come, this suffer comes, you know how to deal with it. I was born in a very poor family. I never got a great education. You know, I, I failed all the examinations. For what reason? I don't know. But later, I realized I don't have money. I don't have technology. I don't have a lot of good backgrounds. We have a rich uncle or something. No. <laughs> the only thing I competed with my people, the young people, is let's compete for 10 years later. This is what I believe 10 years later will be happening. So everything I do for that goal, I know 10 years later, this thing is going to happen. So prepare for that. Because I know if I compete with him for next month, no chance. My, my view is that if, when you are 20 to 30 years old, you should follow a good boss, join a good company to learn how to do things properly. When you're 30 to 40 years old, if you want to do something yourself, just do it. You still can't afford to lose, to fail. But when you're 40 to 50 years old, my suggestion is that you should do things that you are good at, right? And not do things that, oh, that's very interesting. I want to try something new. It's a bit dangerous more. When you're 50 to 60 years old, spending time training and developing young people, the next generation,